Hi everyone, in this video I want to show you a quick way to get a lot of complex detail really easily. I used this method for this flying fish boat that I made for a short film I've been working on and you can see that before I added the frame it was lacking a lot of visual complexity and interest but then adding it, it's just a lot of detail. It's interesting, there's a lot to look at, I guess. So it's just just a really easy and quick way to make things look like you really put in a lot of effort. So anyways, I'm just gonna delete all that real quick. To do this, it's pretty simple. You just need to start off with an object of your choice. It can literally be anything, but if you want to model something, then you should probably use a cube, like I'm going to. After getting your object, you need to go over to the Modifiers tab and add a wireframe modifier. It's at the very bottom. And you can already see that the effect is already working. And over here, you can play with the thickness. One thing you want to avoid with this is squashing and stretching things because you can see that when I squish it down, it gets really thin on the top and bottom or if I go up then it gets really thick so you want to definitely avoid that because you don't want things to be unproportional a quick tip is to not apply this modifier until you are 100 percent finished with the model you're making because if you apply it and then you want to make revisions you won't be able to because the wireframe will already be applied and you won't be able to do the same thing you were able to do before if that makes any sense. Anyways, so we have our wireframe right here and all you have to do is extrude pieces around and I'm just gonna make kind of like an antenna thing. Gonna just keep going up and we already see we already have that shape and it just makes these pieces everywhere that there's an edge. And you can add loop cuts for more detail. The knife tool is really helpful because you can go across like that. Oops. And see, so you can get these cross pieces. You can just do about anything with this and just grab pieces right like that and just move it. And if you don't want that to be so striped, I guess, you can fill it all in and then there's just so much you can do with this and this is like a really horrible looking model but I'm just trying to show off the technique I guess but then once you have your model done you can just apply it and then it's an actual mesh now and you can texture it do whatever and it super easy so hope this helped you uh, I hope you can use this for something because I've used it for a ton of things I make frames for everything. I, I don't know. I do it for a lot of stuff.